this video, we're going to start with an overview of how Quant Connect works. Here you can see the terminal, the IDE, where you can do project development. You can see the community feed with all the latest posts from the community, including the Quant Connect University. We've listed some example algorithms. You can have a, you can see your project list here with all your projects, and you can create a new project in C Sharp, Python, or F Sharp. When you create a project, you can then build it, you edit the code here to do as you'd like, and then you run a backtest. The backtest takes your code and executes it over our cloud using the data that we've provided. We provide data in equities, forex, CFDs, futures, and options, all the way from tick resolution up to daily bars. When the backtest is running, it just gives you a live runtime statistics here, and then on completion, it shows you the overall statistics for the backtest, including the rolling statistics, along with all the trades you've made and any logs that you've had from the strategy. You can then share it with your teammates or with the public. You can create as many files as you like. You just click add new file and go new file. And then you can also share the, the project with some of your teammates. In addition, you can clone the project to duplicate it and then start again. As you're working, you can use the Copilot. This is a dynamic documentation generator. It'll read the context of what you're doing and then try and figure out some documentation for you. So here we can see the set cache method that we just typed into the IDE. Finally, if you're looking for data and you're not quite sure what we have, you can search our data sources here and find out general information about the data that we have, including a start date, whether it's currently trading, the asset types, and this will help understand better what stocks are coming into your algorithm. We're just going to edit this code so that it uses your US dollar and then deploy it live. When you're ready to go live, you simply click the go live button and our wizard takes you through the different options. You can deploy to interactive brokers, FXCM or Rwanda. We've, we can also deploy to paper trading. You select the server type that you'd like to use and then hit deploy. From here, your code is transferred to our co-located servers in Equinix. It's spun up onto a virtual private environment. When the strategy is deployed, you can see the equity chart on the main page, and then you can see the server statistics down on the, on the right. And then you can see all the other custom charts that you've made, including all the stock plots. In the first couple of minutes, you'll see tiny little dots as we start to build the data points for your strategy, which will eventually form into bars for your, for your equity plot. Here we have our portfolio holdings. Our strategy was just buying Euro US dollar and holding it. And you can see the last trade that came through was a market order and a long and it was filled just a few seconds ago. If we give it just a moment, the chart will be fully formed and then we can watch its dynamic updates. And then with just a couple of minutes of data, we can form the chart and you can see here the candles for the chart and we're at a, currently at a profit of $36. Up the top, we have constant streaming runtime statistics on the algorithm, so you can follow it along. We also have the logs tab, which shows you the logs for the strategy and then also the orders. So you can get in-depth analysis of the orders. You can see the code that made this strategy. And then we also have this live projects tab where you can see a little widget showing the live algorithm running. So this way we can go back to back testing and the live algorithm is still running in the background and we can keep track of it here on this widget. So when you're ready to stop, you just go to your algorithm, you click stop and it will maintain its holdings or liquidate to sell its current holdings. So we just stop here and then we can go back to coding. When we've made changes and we're happy to redeploy, we just click go live again and then redeploy. Once it's redeployed, you can see the previous charts so you can keep track of how your algorithm is doing. And here we can see the last deployment that we ran for a few minutes and we stopped and then we started again and now our current deployment's running. Well, that's the demonstration of the basic features of Quant Connect. I'd recommend you follow along as we go through a getting started tutorial series. Thank you for your time.